Did you hear the latest news about a ghostly image of the pillars of creation from the James Webb Telescope that's given everyone the Halloween vibes? Yes, my dear viewers, NASA just released the second image of the pillars of creation from the James Webb Telescope. Looks pretty intriguing, right? The space among you might already know what the pillars of creation are. But for those of you who don't know, I'll explain why these pillars are dubbed the pillars of creation. This is because the pillars are the birthplace of countless stars out in the universe. They're mainly made of gas and dust at high density, and this high density creates a gravity-like force that contracts the dust together, forming stars. See how there's a red dot shining in one of the peaks of the image? That's a new star forming hot off the cooker. I just mentioned how NASA released the second image of these pillars. So you might ask, but when was the first? The first image of the Pillars of Creation was released by NASA's Hubble Space Telescope back in 1995. And that's when the world first saw a glimpse of the pillars. They basically look like three pillars of gas and dust. From the looks of it, they appear as sturdy as a rock, but they're actually much more penetrable than they look. NASA describes these pillars in another way. They say these pillars appear like buttes in a desert, full of high-density clouds and hydrogen gas, and all newborn stars around them radiate UV light in their direction. Now, what good would these images do to science exactly? With the newest image from James Webb Space Telescope, scientists will now be able to revamp the models that have been created on how stars form and will be able to count the number of stars that are born every now and then, more precisely. And this will also give us an explanation of the dust and gas balls that telescopes capture from out in the universe. You might have started assuming that the pillars of creation that were captured by the two telescopes were the same. But that's not true. The pillars that were captured by the Hubble Space Telescope blew up in the universe, and the image we now see is just a ghostly picture of the remains that are now in the location where the pillars were originally found, hence the ghostly effect of the James Webb Telescope image. Scientists believe that these pillars were destroyed about 6,000 years ago, but since they're 7,000 light years away from us, humans will be able to see shadows of them for another 1,000 years in these NASA images. All of this might seem right out of a sci-fi movie to most of you, but believe it, buddy, all this is real, and it's happening. And now we can see it. Stay tuned for more images of the James Webb Telescope, and I promise you, they won't be short of fascinating.